they say I change, cause I want more than figures I post a patch with my niggas, you gotta move smarter than niggas I was too deep in that field with sharks, little nigga, I know my worth Losing my foot back to back, I thought that this shit was a curse Man, let my heart hurt Gang, what it is, what it do, it's your boy Lil Doug And we back at it again with a, nah, ain't no reaction Lil documentary, I think, you feel me? King Von, Friends Before Enemies A lot of y'all probably watched it already, but I didn't I wanted to watch it with y'all, you feel me? Y'all go watch it with me. Simple. You feel me? This with King Von and Kondo Wando, most likely. You feel me? Friend before enemies. Y'all know the history. Y'all know it. You feel me? Anyways, I mess with King Von. He my nigga. Lonely and King Von. And I mess with Kondo, too. Before that even happened. You feel me? The situation could have went better than it happened. You feel me? It was a setup, as y'all know. But we go tap in and see what, the, what they talking about in this. You feel me? Before the video start, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We gonna get right into it, man. Let's see what they talking about, man. Long live King Bond, nigga. For real. Let's get it, man. Let's go. People told me, people told me you and Young Boy was beefing or something like that. I know they said something about it. I saw the video. They be saying that like it's like we got the same interests and holes. And then, you know how the internet try to make it. But it ain't nothing too serious, nothing that you should worry about. Five people were shot overnight in downtown Atlanta. Two of them died, and now investigators are working to figure out what led up to the violence. Just keep breathing, cuz. Come on, you got it. You got it. That's what little Tim got thought. Man, he's shot. What you mean, wrong side? All right, what's up, everybody? We gotta talk about this King Von situation. Rest in peace. It's tragic. Everything that could have went wrong went wrong that night. Von was shot in the parking lot of the Monaco Hookah Lounge, right in the center of downtown Atlanta. After this huge brawl with Quando Rondo's crew and a couple of undercover police, everything was captured on surveillance cameras with multiple angles. Up, and I've seen so many rumors and fake and stories circulating. Around, the stuff about dirt buying you go on the, the video, tickets bro? to Quando Rondo's next show. News sites posting snap. Chats from a fake Quando Rondo account calling King Von Queen Von. That's all fake. We don't have to invent stories. Reality is already crazy. People don't even know. There was almost a second shootout the night Von was killed. After the chaos in the parking lot at the hookah second, spot, both hit. crews rushed to the hospital and went to the same one. That's why Quando Rondo went immediately to Instagram Live when he got to the entrance at the Grady Memorial Hospital. Come on. Just keep moving, cuz. They went out the same hospital. And I did not know that. Fon's body on the highway eight miles from the hospital to the morgue. Atlanta police were in the very same hospital charging Quando Rondo's boy, Little Tim, for the murder of King Vaughn. Now, not only is Little Tim fighting this I felony murder case, but something people don't know is he's already fighting a conspiracy case in Georgia. After this year long investigation took down a trap house in Savannah, confiscating 15 pounds of Kush, $16,000 cash, and a bunch of guns. Little and Tim if you're that, online, huh? even a little bit you've seen the rumors circulating that nba young boy is responsible for von's death we saw close nba young boy affiliates going immediately to ig live as soon as it happened laughing at von being killed the jokes on you this now you're getting wrapped down yeah. i thought i said that's that von pay when i seen he got popped all I could do was laugh. All I could do was laugh. Now, we're gonna get into all this, but before we do, check out my song of the day. This is my guy, Young Poe. Let's go. I gotta have it all, have it all. Nigga, to raise a ball. Call my partner, and them white cops. We'll get all of y'all. You came here from Bond, bro. Bond, bro. King Bond, bro. Not a bitch, you wanna swear me. I drop a bag up on me. Get that little boy from around me. Sorry for the inconvenience, bro. We all came for the same thing. We all did shit for hours. I got the juice to power. Thank you. It's messed up to say, but this is the yeah. most attention Quando Rondo's ever gotten in his career. He was never a headliner, he's not a huge artist, but now he's in the position where he's playing up the role of the bad guy. Dropping that song, addressing the King Von situation, shooting that video, dressed up as the guy who killed him, Little Tim. He's been wearing bulletproof vests everywhere, getting all these shows canceled, and what makes the situation worse, he said getting point, all these shows King Von and Quando were cool with each other. 63rd, nigga, so that's a video from a year ago of the two of them That's before a show so in Atlanta crazy, cracking jokes and making fun of Von's ops together. But realistically, this relationship was not gonna last. And yes, NBA Young Boy is involved. Young Boy, the YB situation was just too real, just too good. All us got a real bond, so I don't 
Tony, but I don't f that music shit. Like, you feel me? This shit is way deeper than that. The reason Young Boy is mentioned in this is because he has ties with both Quando and Vaughn. Quando was the first artist signed to Young Boy's Never Broke Again label. They've been real close ever since, I knew that, making I knew music, that. doing we shows. Knew that. They even tag team jumped their own security. Hey, this look yeah. interesting. I ain't know nothing. I ain't know half of this. I ain't know great. I remember that and fight. when That's Young Boy was beefing with fight. Kodak Black a couple years back, Quando showed his loyalty by going on IG Live and burning Kodak's merch. Man, it's up. Man, we on some NBA shit, man. Tell Ethical don't send me this shit no more, man. He even went to New York and got into a brawl in Brooklyn with Kodak's artist, Tutu G's. According to Tutu, Quando got slapped, people were throwing chairs, it was chaos. Quando now, got thankfully, slapped. nobody got yeah. hurt, but the beef is still on to this day. And young boy's got a huge list of these industry beefs with people he doesn't get along with. One tension that was slowly building behind the scenes was with him and a new artist out of Chicago named King Vaughn. What young boy talking about on this song, boy? You talking crazy on this one. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. Oh, I'm thinking King Vaughn be playing. You got cap in your raps. At this point, Vaughn was just starting to get hot. I he had crazy plan. story one out, the buzz was slowly building. Young and in March of 2019, Vaughn went on Instagram like Live to say that Young Boy was lying in his raps. Young Boy fans were quick in the comments, spamming him to apologize or something was gonna happen to Vaughn in 48 hours. Fast forward a couple months to December of 2019. Lil Reese, who's super close to Vaughn, comes out and says he would never do a song with Young Boy. After fans were asking him for a collab, we could see these lines being drawn real quick between Oblock and Young Boy's crew 4KT. That's some real shit by Lil Reese. Fast boy, forward cut. again, four months Not ago. These boy. photos surface of Vaughn holding hands with Young Boy's ex-girl and baby mama, Jania. At the same time, Vaughn was tweeting Maybe subliminals about posting some other dude's girl, doing stuff that would have him stop he claiming his kids. It didn't take long for Young Boy <laughs> to match that energy and go out and do a Maybe song with, with King Vaughn's ex-girl, Asian Dog. Both of them using each other's girls as props to get at one another. And the whole time, people like 600 Breezy from Chicago were hyping Vaughn up, saying stuff like, I love what you're doing, we know what you're doing, hashtag Rapper K. So he's saying Rapper Killer. Basically, he's cryptically talking about Young Boy, who then responded indirectly, but super directly at the same time gonna by sure saying, that. I'm going to make sure my son okay, F's daughter, your daughter trolling, since her troll. Now, this tension kept building and building behind the scenes. Vaughn's even got subliminals about Young Boy on this new oh. album he dropped last month. Welcome to Oblock. Young Boy was talking about King Vaughn through the whole Vaughn time. says outright that he's got beef in Louisiana and the other dude doesn't know it. He's rapping that gangster shit now he's got a show. It. So when the news hit last month that Vaughn got killed in a confrontation with Young Boy's artist, not know theories that. started to circulate that it was Young it's Boy a lot of I'm not knowing, the hit. Bro. Two days after Vaughn was killed, a fan uploaded an old unreleased song from Young Boy and titled it like it was a kid. King Von this called Let Them Shots Off. Now this was pure clickbait, but the video still managed to go to number eight on trending on YouTube, and it's not about King Von at all. And I saw fans starting to go back into Young Boy's catalog, reading into his lyrics, looking for clues. One song in particular they claim predicted Von's death two months before it happened. The song is called Dead Trolls, and at one point in the song, Young Boy talks about planning to rob somebody in Atlanta. He talks about leaving his ops dead and mentioning. D Rose being away from the Chicago Bulls home. You connect the lyrics. King Vaughn was staying in Atlanta. He got killed in Atlanta. D Rose was a point guard for the Chicago Bulls. But in Chicago Drill, D Rose was an infamous O Block shooter who got 40 years for a murder. He's been shouted out on numerous tracks by Chief Man, this and even Vaughn. Mom, bro. He's got photos side by side with him. And this song know that Trolls know just artists, happened bro. to drop shortly I after did. these photos surfaced of King Vaughn holding hands with Jania, Young Boy's ex girl. Now, before we get carried away, no, I don't think this song yeah, predicted Von's death on two niggas. months before it happened. I don't think Young Boy cooked up some Louisiana voodoo to make that happen. In reality, the Atlanta line could be about anybody. Half the industry's in Atlanta, and Young Boy beefs with half the industry. J.D. Young and Fredo Bang, their beefs are well documented. Both of them got tension with Young Boy, and both of them record in Atlanta. So, no, I don't buy it. Truth is, Vaughn's manager says this incident was personal between Quando and Vaughn. This has nothing to do with um, Young Boy that doing nigga song with Asian Darling. That's not believing none he right? say. No. That nigga is This has to do with <clears throat> Vaughn being the person he is, and then he don't like all oh. that sneak this, 
So I feel like he has something to do with that. And as that, those bro, tensions hey. escalated between both camps, word is Quando had been talking shit behind the scenes about Vaughn for quite some time, to the point where Vaughn said if he cost someone from that camp, he was putting hands on them. And this music industry is small, you're gonna run into people, especially in Atlanta. That's where all the good studios are, producers, label offices. Quando Rondo's from Georgia, Dirk and Vaughn are both based out there too, so this was only a matter of time. Now, the Monaco Hookah Lounge is right in the center of downtown Atlanta. King Vaughn's been to that spot before, it's a popular place, but it's also a red zone for shootouts. Three people have been killed at this place in the last year alone. That's why there were undercovers patrolling the area that night and at the venue. Now the first reports that came out were confusing. The news said enough, that bro. undercover police had shot Vaughn. We even saw dispatch calls from Chicago I remember that. I'm like, telling what? their the officers police that Atlanta police had shot Vaughn and to move with Man, caution around it. O'Block right. because emotions would be high. Last night in Atlanta, police shot King Vaughn and two of his people. Social media is active with, uh, they're upset with the police. So if we have any jobs they shot two people though. Way, they didn't shoot Vaughn. two cars. I'm like, what the police They're not happy with the police over there. We later found out three separate crews were involved. Vaughn's crew, Quando's crew, and the undercover police. Well, they now, one. nobody Louis knows what set Vaughn off, but Vaughn's manager mm -hmm. says that night he wasn't himself. Vaughn was celebrating his album release at Opium Nightclub a few hours earlier. He was supposed to go back to his Airbnb around 2.30 in the morning, but he suddenly I decided to switch to routes shit, midway bro. and go to this hookah spot on Trinity Avenue about mm -hmm. 10 minutes away. Now, Vaughn cannot carry weapons himself. He's been fighting that case with Dirk and Atlanta for close to a year. They got strict guidelines to follow, but he knows his status. Usually, Vaughn travels with three to four security, a bulletproof truck, and his guys from Chicago. But on this night, he left Club Opium by himself with one driver and one other car, leaving that fleet of security behind. When Vaughn got to the hookah spot, he waited for 30 minutes in the car, and his security finally got word of his new location change and immediately rushed over to get to him. The whole time, Quando uh, Rondo manager. just happened his to be in, in the same manager. parking lot at that same hookah spot, napping in his McLaren. I know coincidences can happen, but this one's pretty big. What are the chances that King Von randomly decided to change routes and go to a hookah spot where somebody that he doesn't like happens to be at? One of Von's friends spots Quando and goes back to tell Von. And on the CCTV camera, we see Quando making his way over to this white SUV, scanning the area cautiously. Shortly after, you see Von leaping out of his own car, going looking for Quando. As soon as Von sees Quando, he starts throwing punches. Von is unarmed, but his crew is swarming Quando. Quando quickly. That's when Quando's bro, Lil Tim, hops out the white SUV, pulls a pistol out, and fires off five shots, hitting Vaughn in the chest and thighs. Bullets also graze Vaughn's manager, who is in the mix of it. All hell breaks loose. Vaughn's bro, Slutty, who was right next to Vaughn when the brawl started, was the first person to return fire once Vaughn gets shot. Hitting Lil Tim in the leg once, but then his gun jams, so he can't finish the job. Now this actually Damn. saves Lil Tim's life. I didn't him know getting Slutty shot did in the that. leg drops Bruh. him to the ground, making what him a non-threat to the undercover police who were creeping around back in the adjacent parking lot. With Lil Tim on the ground and Slutty standing over him with a jammed up Glock, Slutty turns and runs into the adjacent parking lot towards the undercovers, who start ringing off shots and hit both Slutty and another O-Block guy named Louie in the head, killing Slutty on the spot and leaving Louie in critical condition. This whole time, Quando is still tangled up with King Vaughn, who's just been shot a bunch of times and has paralysis in the bottom half of his body. According to Vaughn's manager, Quando is screaming, Vaughn shot, Vaughn shot. And on camera, it looks like he leans in and holds close to Vaughn, either trying to help him yeah, or take, take his, his chain. chain it's boy. hard to say which. But eventually, Vaughn's brother, Muop, runs over and knocks Quando in the head, separating him from Vaughn, where they can yeah, now Muop, pick him up and nigga. escape in the getaway vehicle. Unfortunately, even though the hospital was just 10 minutes away, doctors could not save his life. And now we're left in the aftermath. You're talking about two clicks with huge influence, money, and power. 
The very next day, we saw 600 Breezy hitting the freeway at 150 miles an hour, leaving Chicago to go to Baton Rouge as a declaration of war with oh, NBA Young Boys oh, Crew 4KT. That's a crazy day, bro. Breezy is also openly talking about revenge on socials, leaving kissy emojis underneath Vaughn's killer's IG page. Several days after everything happened, Vaughn's childhood bro, Mimo 600, went to Savannah, Georgia to film a music video in Kwando yeah, Rondo's he neighborhood. Thugging. I he think shot he filmed a video it in the housing shit. complex close by. Everything. Regardless, point is, nobody's squashing nothing. And while Mimo was out there in Kwando's game, neighborhood, bro. this girl DMs yeah, yeah. him, saying they should link up while he's there. They after doing some up. research on the girl, Mimo finds her in a Kwando Rondo music video just last year. It was a setup, a backdoor attempt in Kwando's home city. And you've heard that theory, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. That's playing out in real time. But it's not just the industry that's affected by Vaughn's death. We can look at the city of Chicago too. This has been the most violent year in Chicago since 2016. And just like when FBG Duck died, one side was laughing, well now it's the other side's turn. As these memes of Vaughn packs are being shared all over the internet, this song's being made, and people close to Duck just showing Vaughn no signs of sympathy. Yeah man, that's pretty much it for this video. Rest in peace to Vaughn. Let me know what you guys think of the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Damn, that shit is crazy, bro. I'm not gonna even lie. That's crazy, bro. Hold on. Yeah, again, that shit with the video, bro. Hey, most of that stuff they was talking about, bro, I did not know. I did not know. They was saying hella how slutty and Louie they ran to the, the little cut and they just got bust out by the police in their heads. Like, Slutty was about to kill Timmy, but it's shit jam. He shot him. I ain't even know Slutty shot him. Bro, it's a, it's a lot of shit I ain't know about, bro. For real. Yeah, though, man. That's crazy, man. Long live on. I wish the nigga never went there, but anyways. That was a setup, bro. That was a setup. We ain't gonna get into that. We ain't, we ain't no police or none. We just watched the video. Anyways, gang. That's it with the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And gang, we about to hear. Bye.